Okay, so this is the updated Hydro Flask Wide Mouth Flask. I have here the 20 ohms version both in stone and fog colors featuring the all-new Flex Siplid and Flex Cap respectively. Now there are two major discussion points here. First is the updated Wide Mouth Flask, second is the all-new Flex Siplid. The changes to the flask are actually visual in nature. First, it now has stainless steel band instead of the previous small gutter. This change gives the flask an aesthetic flair that makes it look more premium. Second, the trademark symbol on the logo and wordmark is now gone, and the logo is a little smaller. Lastly, the bottom of the bottle is rounded off now instead of the hard corners of the previous one. Overall, the changes gives the flask a modern, fresh look, all while maintaining the awesome performance of this flask such as Number 1, it keeps coldness up to 24 hours and hotness up to 12 hours. I usually put coffee or hot milk in the morning around 6 to 7 and I slowly sip on that up until around before lunch and I can tell you that it keeps it satisfyingly hot. Number 2, the flask won't condense. That is, it won't get wet on the outside no matter how icy cold of a drink you put inside. Also, the outside of the flask won't get hot no matter how hot of coffee you put inside. However, it is worth noting that it is not advisable to put boiling water in any bottle as that will cause pressure buildup and the cap or lid might pop off causing accidents. Number 3. It won't transfer flavor. I tried this myself. I put Coca-Cola, coffee, milk, juice drinks, whatever. The taste doesn't transfer. Having said that, you should wash the flask and the cap and lids with soapy warm water after using it with drinks like that. Number 4. It has easy to grip powder coat on the outside and it's BPA free, it's phthalate free, and it's top react dishwasher safe. Number 5. It's got lifetime warranty for any manufacturer defects. If you feel any coldness or hotness or condensation or moisture on the outside of the flask, just bring it to whatever you bought it. They will assess the bottle if it really is a manufacturing defect. And if it is, it, they will give you a free replacement. So going to the specifics of this particular 20 ohms wide mouth flask. So first, a volume of 20 ohms or 591 milliliters, a mouth and flask diameter of 2.2 and 2.9 inches respectively, which makes it fit in a car cup holder, height of 8.9 inches, and weight of 340 grams. Now, I had trouble picking between the standard mouth and wide mouth flasks, but I went for the wide due to the following advantages. First, you have many options for caps and lids. So first you get the flex cap, the normal twist to open, close cap, uh, the flex zip lid, and then the straw lid. Note that there's no straw and zip lids for the standard mouth flask, although they get the sport lid. Second and last is that the wide opening makes it easy to pour in beverages and ice cubes and it makes it easy to clean too. Okay, that's the flask. Now, what about the all-new Flex Siplet? First, I'd say it does the job well. I mean, there's not a lot to go wrong for a Siplet, but I really like the twist to open and close design. It's so convenient. It's not hard to twist, but just snug enough and also it's leak-proof. It's also got a vent here at the top so you don't get vacuum when sipping. It's worth noting that this lid is compatible with all wide mouth flasks. The same Hydroflask standard BPA free and lifetime warranty also applies to this lid. Now it has good flow so be careful if your coffee is still very hot. But that also means you can use this lid for any other liquids like water, not just the hot sippy ones. And that's why I got this particular model. I was looking for a daily driver that I can use with hot and cold beverages without changing lids and this combination works really well for this use case. Also, the zip lid is easy to assemble and disassemble for cleaning. Just twist the top cap all the way counterclockwise until it pops off, flip the lid over to access the side facing inside the flask, then twist the lock all the way counterclockwise too. And there you have it. Just reverse the steps to assemble. Lastly, the colors. The stone looks so elegant, like a dark gray shade. But the fog looks unique and vibrant with a purple shade. So thanks to my love you have for picking this colors, otherwise I would've went with a simple and elegant black and white. And that's it. I hope you find this review helpful and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Links are all on the description and if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and I invite you to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.